Good job. Yeah, they can't hear you. <laughs> Not this again. Let's go. <laughs> hello. 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 Can you hear me now? Please tell me you can hear me now. Fingers crossed. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Am I? Am You're I? good. You're good. I just heard you. Oh, thank heavens. <laughs> hello, everyone. My name is Stephen Pope, your dungeon master, your principal, and... Uh, I don't know. The guy standing between you and your high school graduation, okay? I saw how you performed in PE, and honestly, we're a little concerned that you're just not applying yourself, all right? It's freaking PE! It's fair. I did not imply myself in any aspect not, of school. <laughs> actually, I was the first one in my family, like, from several generations of popes, to make an A in PE. Teach, I teacher failed me. PE twice. <laughs> Almost failed high school because of it. Oh, wow. I, it's because I wouldn't dress out in PE clothes. I refused to put on shorts and Mika. a shirt. We only had to do PE I, the first two years same. or for two semesters. So I got I knocked him out as quickly as possible. <laughs> anyway, hello. Let's try this again. Hi, welcome to New Pantheon Academia, the anime-inspired role-playing game show here on Saving Throw Show, powered by Overarms, available now at drive Through RPG. Uh, and uh, Rookie Jet Studios. We love them. They're great guys, make great games. So, uh, we're doing something a little special this week. It is our mid-season finale. We're going to be taking a little break. Don't worry, we will be back. Uh, Bright-eyed and bushy-tailed before you know it. But, all right. The world is a little funky right now, to put it mildly. And for some reason... Some guys in Texas decided the best way to cope with this is to be terrible to trans kids. Hmm. Double fuck them. Yeah. So, so this episode uh, for our mid-season finale, we are going to be raising money for Equality Texas. Uh, it works to secure full equality for lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, and just queer uh, Texans throughout through with political action, education. And they are fighting right now to make sure these trans kids are protected. So if you are in the chat right now, go ahead and put exclamation point tiltify. Uh, that's exclamation point T-I-L-T-I-F-Y. Follow that link. Donate some money. It's going to a good cause. But here's the thing. Uh, for every $20 that's donated during this session, I'm giving the table a reroll. I despise rerolls. I was super glad when I was told I don't have to do them anymore, but this feels like it's worth it. And I haven't even finished the sentence. We've already raised $120 and that is wonderful. Thank you all yeah. so much for that. He despises rerolls even though he gets access to them too. I know, right? I know that, but I I try to be nice and I try to make you guys look better. So no, 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 no. Yeah, you couldn't kill us if you tried, Steve. Sure. Oh! I don't know. He's gotten a few times. <laughs> I would not test that theory. Right. <laughs> he did pick me out of a window once and made we me We are about see? to literally start with combat, so... See, this strategy is that he's going to go hard on us, and then chat's going to be like, oh, they need rerolls, and we need to support the trans kids, and then they'll continue. See, Mika gets know? it. Mika, Mika's got a mind for this. Yeah, I've done marketing. Yeah. I did marketing for five plus years. <laughs> I, I know. Use those hours for good. Come at us, bro. Come at us. Yeah. Oh, bugger all. So let's go ahead and meet our wonderful table, starting with, uh, they're the non-binary sensation sweeping the nation. It's Aki. Hi, everybody. It's me. I'm Aki. I play Manny, Emancipation Brown, uh, 
for uh, all of you. And uh, they currently have two very awesome divinities. Uh, one is Ma'at, the Egyptian goddess of truth, justice, and harmony. And the other is the Mesoamerican god Quetzalcoatl, who is the god of sun, wind, air, you know, just a all around and rainbows. person learning. Uh, yeah, they're cool. I'm very excited. And I have all kinds of fun, neat, stuff now because of both of them i'm just you know your armored anime fighty boy <laughs> with a big sword and not a boy boi oh fair enough is that what boi means yes no but yes no. but no but no, yes. yes but no it's like boy and girl like material girl it's like they, they don't have a gender <laughs> it's your boy Manny. <laughs> Freddie, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Um, <laughs> next up, he's who I'd cast in a live action Booster Gold movie. It's mostly Eric. Hello. I was scared for a second. I, I was like, where's he going scared. with that? He, <laughs> What's wrong I, with that? He's my I favorite. knew that that was coming because because he's told me that before. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, everyone. Uh, I'm Eric. Uh, I am playing Lennox Thatcher, uh, who is a uh, you know, former football captain, rich boy with, with problems. And he's got uh, the goddess Ninkasi, the Sumerian goddess of beer, living inside him. And now also the uh, Hittite goddess Kemarusfia. I, I, I'll figure out how to pronounce it one day. Who is the, <laughs> the, the, the goddess of, of, of magic and healing. Uh Love it. Next up, they are back from the dead. It's Mika. Your name's R.I.P. Mika. I thought it was cute. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got it. I got it. Hi, I am R.I.P. Mika. I play uh, our wonderfully charismatic little theater kid, Dahlia Wingrove. Um, and her divinities, plural, I got to set my second one up today. Um, we all know and love Persephone, goddess of both springtime and also the underworld but her second divinity is brigid of the irish tuatha de danan um Ooh, and brigid is the goddess of wisdom poetry healing protection smithing and also domesticated animals um <laughs> which i think fits in with talia pretty well animal husbandry oh yeah. my <laughs> Yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what um, Steven's voice is going to be for Brid Brigid. I've been I've been thinking of it. Have you been practicing your Irish accent? No, but you'll see what I did. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, why are you gagging so? They bring it to you every episode. It's Omega Jones, the critical bard. What you mean? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Come through, Shaka Khan. <laughs> we lost Mika. <laughs> I, yes! New I think a trap door New opened record! and Mika just fell. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Anywho, hi. <laughs> <laughs> uh, my name is Omega Jones, also known as a critical bar, critical bar across all social media channels. Uh, I am here, you know, being awesome as best as I can, uh, you know, living my best life. Uh, I play Kuwame Akinyemi, our, our resident chill, uh, adorable, cool cat who finally, finally got the first kiss with Lenny last episode. Yeah, you missed it. Yeah, you, you missed it. Missed it. <laughs> yeah. You totally, yeah, you missed it. Yeah. Um, and he uh, is connected to Anansi, the West African spider trickster god of stories, and the now officially Abaddon, the de destroyer of the abyss. Uh, and we're going to see what that looks like. So... Was the abyss not getting kissed? Listen, that got destroyed. Listen, uh, <laughs> listen, Abaddon's not happy in my opinion. So we're gonna see how this looks. Mm. Abaddon's an emotional creature and they are in their feelings, but don't worry about mm -hmm. it. Uh, before we get to our recap and adventure proper, we gotta send some love to uh, our sponsors. Top of the order, Hero Forge. Create your own custom 3D colored miniatures. Have them printed for you, sent to you. You can get them in grayscale if you'd rather paint them like this guy who I tried to paint and uh, I did okay. You know, it's fine. He's fine. 
my little orc boy. We all got to start somewhere. We all got to start somewhere. Yeah. Exactly. The first step of being good at something is sucking at something. Um, so special love to Hero Forge for sponsoring us. If you're in the chat right now, exclamation point Hero Forge. That's exclamation point H E R O F O R G E. Uh, get your own custom miniature today. Uh, and we also got to send love to Die Hard Dice. Uh, now, critical mark. Do they have your dice back? Nope. Yet? Nope. nope. Okay. Nope. Well, that's a bummer. But no. Nah. You know what? You... Letters. It's a bummer for everyone, but it's also a win because hey. hey, they sold out. <laughs> and you can always use more dice. Okay, you can always use more dice. It's true. It's true. And you, if you use saving throw twenty two at checkout, you get ten percent off your order. So come on, get more math rocks. You need them. Ooh, uh, separate dice to design new pantheon dice. Oh my god, they would be okay. So they'd be like. Silver, purple, maybe a little gold, maybe. I don't know. You're the no. you're the GM. <laughs> we all see the logo. I'm just saying. New Pantheon, or they can be like characters as well. Yeah, Ooh, we Kwame one. dice. I I'll be excited about Manny Dice. Gold. <laughs> very, very gold. Lenny Dice very would gold. Lenny Dice would have like football in it. Yeah. It would be, and they would look like those beer clear guys. resin. Yes, it, mm -hmm. it, it would be that amber beer color. Yeah, it'd be yeah, like yeah. semi clear, and there would be shredded up money inside. I feel like Dahlia is. Uh, oh, <laughs> it's the privilege for me. Well, I feel like Dahlia would be green and black, and then of course we could get some like really cool swirly black and silver for Kwame. Yeah. Mm, yeah. Yeah. With a little bit of. Uh, oh, I gotta think about that. A little bit of red, a little bit of gold in that as well. Ooh. Oh, god, that'd be pretty. Mm. Mm. Sticking about it. Hit us up, Die Hard Dice. Come on, up, Die Hard. Mm. Anywho, we have, ideas. Yes. we have plenty of ideas. Uh, so hey, if you're not watching us live, if you're listening to this as a podcast or checking us out on YouTube, thank you. We love you. We appreciate it. Just do us a solid like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, whole nine yards. You know the drill. Everyone tells you to do it because it does help and it, we really do appreciate it. Um, because, hey, it will get more people to see the show. More people see the show, the better off the show is. And, hey, Saving Throw makes amazing content. So check it all out. Um, and lastly, the very last thing, uh, you can support the channel through Kofi, the uh, K-O-F-I. Don't hit up someone named Kofi. Uh, enter exclamation point KOFI in the chat to check it out. On Kofi, you can tip as you would regularly, but you can also join the Exploration Society with a monthly amount. Uh, it's effectively our, it's the same thing as our Patreon, but you can unlock, unlock things like toast and tips. It's, it's really great. And hey, there's an adventure of me where I get kidnapped because I'm a drama obsessed hobbit. Uh, I am a messy bitch who lives for drama. So bring that to your 5e game. Less for the drama. <laughs> All right. So uh, we have raised $160 for uh, for uh, uh, the Texas. The, the Equality Texas. Yes. Thank you. you. Talking it. is hard. Talking you know, is hard. Sometimes. How do people do? How do you guys do this? You all stream on the regular. I don't know why you talk. close with something. Never mind. <laughs> I don't think I realized that Mika is at a standing desk. Um, I'm, going I, I'm going home. I'm going home. I'm hiding really, behind my fan. Uh, we're, <sighs> they're dropping like flies, y'all. Dropping like flies. <laughs> Good grief. <laughs> All right. I'm going to ask our table something real quick. <laughs> what would you like to happen if we unlocked $1,000 for uh, Texas Equality today? A third? I'm kidding. Um, beach episode. Beach episode. Beach Ooh, episode. Be so fun. All right, all right. How about this? How about this? Five. I think that's like a five hundred dollars. I was about to say five hundred dollars. We'll do a beach episode. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Thousand dollars. Thousand dollars. Okay, hold on. Before we get to a thousand for seven hundred and fifty. Okay. Gladys gets a divinity. <gasps> Oh my god. You are a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant I person. It. All oh, right. Gladys joining our team would be the best. Just be our just be our uh our adult person when uh Kim and uh Dr. Ash aren't here. 
Go to, just go to the office. Can we talk to Gladys, please? <laughs> I want her to have a divinity and just never interact with y'all. Please, please. That's what, honestly what I want. Gladys is having adventure somewhere else. Yeah. You're, you like text Gladys, like, "Hey, Gladys, we're fighting. We're fighting this." And she's like, "Oh, I would love to, but you know, my stories is on." So, <laughs> <laughs> days of our lives. So. Uh... <laughs> Don't even no, I'm really into those Korean dramas. I started popping up on my TV. They're compelling. <laughs> oh man, I watched one called "Boys Over Flowers" last night. It was. Uh, oh man, I... Hana Yori Dango is so oh. good. All Listen, iterations I... of that drama. We'll we'll figure out what a thousand is. <laughs> we'll figure it out. But we'll chat, feel if it you out have any, show. if you have any suggestions, chat. I, I do have an idea, but oh. I, I I need. It involves you, Omega, and I need your approval on it. Uh-oh. Okay. All right. So. Was that approval or was that just like a. No, oh, no. I'm not, I'm like blanket like approval. The idea that, is. that was a, I'm willing to listen to your pitch. All right. Uh-huh. Here's my pitch. Uh, the four of us, me, Aki, uh, Eric, and Mika, we find an anime and you do a reaction to it. Take some convincing because <laughs> oh, okay. I have been wanting to get you to watch not Cowboy Bebop, but there's that new show uh, he made about the uh, singing competition. And I was like, I want to see Omega react to this so bad. <laughs> I also kind of want to see Omega react to Yuri on Nice. Oh, that's that would also be fun, oh, or we can go Furry Kuri if we want to go retro. Fine. If we get to a thousand, if we do, I will react. We will have a, a an episode of just me reacting to things. <laughs> All right. All right. Thank you for being a good sport. Hard reacts to anime. Thousand dollars, y'all. A thousand dollars help some help kids, and it'll be funny. All right. <laughs> Thank you for being a good sport, Omega. I appreciate mm -hmm. it. So <laughs> last. All right. So that brings us. To New Pantheon Academia. Academia, Academia, Academia. So last week, well, not last week, but last episode, the four of you, along with Nanako and Kim, delved into the dreaming, where you discover not only is it kind of a gateway between multiple universes, it's also where Morpheus is uh, and Loki. Morpheus is currently in the Spose. Seemingly caught in a perpetual dream within a dream uh, with a lot of musical numbers with uh, Dahlia starring, of course. Uh, and Loki is also trapped and he hates it. Uh, when you went to talk to Morpheus, he kind of dismissed you. But Loki gave Manny their, the only person they seem to like genuinely, uh, some keys that when used, gave you a second divinity. Uh, as we said, for Kwame, it unlocked Abaddon, the destroyer of the void. For Lenny, it unlocked, uh, oh God, I forgot I'm going to have to pronounce, I'm going to have yep. to try to pronounce this again. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I mean, there is like, if you look them up, you can probably just hit the Wikipedia speaker thing and it can pronounce it for you. I'm just saying. I tried, it didn't. <laughs> there's there's like an umlaut on the s and i don't know what that means oh no <laughs> it also gave many of uh, the divinity quetzalcoatl dahlia quetzalcoatl quetzalcoatl am i saying that yeah, right you don't you don't uh pronounce the qua. it's quetzalcoatl quetzalcoatl yep okay quetzalcoatl so dahlia what does your key look like um I imagine my key is just forged out of iron. Yeah. But also has um, like some kind of musical note written on it, as well as like uh, wrapped in the twine that you 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 would use to like lead sheep around. Just kind of real real Irish looking key. If we want to just go fall on stereotypes here. I'm fine with that. Yeah. Smells like moss peat. Yeah, yeah. No, it smells like Irish Spring. 
no, 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 no. <laughs> Please, no. She would throw the key away. She'd be like, no, I'm done. <laughs> it smells like horror stories of high school. <laughs> we are Act body school. spray. And you are high schoolers. Yeah. Um, all right. Uh, it has a warmth to it that uh, the key to Persephone didn't have. Um, it's not like it's burning you, but it's almost like a living thing. Oh. But what I would know what this key is, right? Um, I would sense the divinity on it, right? You would sense... Oh, you know it's a, a key to divinity. But uh, why don't you go ahead and roll me intelligence real quick? I'm looking for a three. So that's an eight. So far to see this. Okay, an eight, yes. <laughs> okay, yeah, you absolutely know. Uh, yeah, Dahlia, you know this is Brigid. 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 That was right the first yeah. time. What would I, what I know who Brigid is? Can I just, <laughs> can I just like do what I did with Persephone's key? Everyone else has. Yeah, I'm gonna, gonna shove it into my chest or whatever. <laughs> Just, yeah, <laughs> you hear when you do. Uh, well, what do they look like to you? Um, like, like Merida. I hate. <laughs> I, I didn't. Yeah, I just like. Um, it's I, mean, I am personally here for it. Yeah. <laughs> I I'm love it, but I hate I'm that that was not not like a teenager. Oh, God, what was the actress's name? Hold on. But what did she look like if she were like starting to slightly go silver in the temple? Like, like, like uh, yeah, yeah. Florence What's and the Machine the vibes. Uh, oh, I do. Not Bryce, Welsh, Howard, that. not Bryce Howard. Uh, oh, uh, the uh, other one, who? Jessica Chastain. One, Jessica Chastain, like Jessica Chastain, but with really curly Merida hair and a little gray at the edges. Um, not wearing like a maiden dress. She's definitely wearing a full suit of armor, like full plate armor, because she's the goddess of the smith. So she just looks like a real badass, big red haired warrior. I love it. This woman towers above you, her hair like flames. Uh, she is an imposing figure, and you hear the roar of cats behind her. Um, Roar of cat. Not a cat lady. Oh, don't give me that look. <laughs> Can it be That's lame? a nice blob. Lots of bleeding sheep. <laughs> or bunnies. Bunnies. Your Brigid is calling for you, cat. Or horses. You just hear a cacophony of animals behind her. And she looks down at you. Hmm. And she smiles. <laughs> okay. Does she say anything, Stephen? Does she say what? Do, does she say anything that sounds wonderful? <laughs> <clears throat> I am your sword, and I am your shield. Do you accept me into your heart? Oh, Persephone, do we accept her? Persephone appears beside you, and she looks up, and she doesn't say anything, but little nod, little, uh-huh, mm-hmm, yes, hello, yes, mommy, hello, Welcome sorry, Welcome to mommy. the family! You've been cast in a lead role. Are you ready to accept? I was born ready! Boom, you, and in your heart, you hear her. I'm your sword, I am your shield, you have accepted great... Bridget, into your heart. Wow. And you feel powerful. You all feel powerful. It's just like the night you received your divinities, but somehow more crowded. In a good way. Three's yes. company. Yeah. It's honestly kind of nice because, like, like, not, not like, no offense, but like Ninkasi doesn't like talk a lot. She mostly just laughs. 
like jolly, but you know. I this wish I could say the same for me. There's a lot of gossiping happening in my head right now. It's wonderful. Cats Quaddle and 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 Maat are both pretty stoic, so Yes. Uh Kwame, in the back of your mind, uh who do you have active right now? Uh I mean, we haven't switched yet, so I'm probably it's probably still an auntie at this moment. Okay, you know what? I, I am fine having a roommate. I accept this. I, I understand this, you know? You, you need more things in life. I understand that. But you don't have to be mean about it, okay? I'm already insecure. I am not I being mean, just making a a, a very a forward um, observation. That you just you implied are, I talk too much, okay? You that's do hurtful. talk too much, but that's, that's okay. Is, oh. it, is it hurtful to admit that you are a speaking individual? Oh. Ah. You, you do ah. talk a lot, Anansi. But we like it. You probably talk the most out of all the divinities, and that's okay. I'm the one closest to humanity. It's my thing. I tell stories. I. <laughs> now you have a roommate who's literally from the bottomless pits of hell. Actually, not hell. The bottomless pits. Period. Yes, about that. Uh, are, are, we, are we sure about this one? Are we sure? Are we sure? Is it we, the vibe? We, we need a yes. You can always just build a lot of webs in the void. I think it'd be pretty cool. It but is also, also, just because he comes from down there doesn't mean that he's like really bad. Look oh, at no, Persephone. he's not bad. He just fucks everything up in a good way. No, no, no. Yes. See? Also, like in um, like Vang. the Lord of the Rings canon, uh, spiders actually come from the void. So, it like, I guess it makes sense or whatever. You guys could be like brothers. I don't like the implication. To be fair, Abaddon kind of already has a sibling and they are our arch nemesis right now. So, hmm. Uh, <gasps> Family drama. That's one of my favorite genres. We don't have enough of that. Says the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> um, by the way, thanks to our chat, we have 18 rerolls and have raised $369. Holy nice. 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 <laughs> Thank you so Let's much. Do another nice of 420. Um, <laughs> Those are rookie no Let's pump it up, chat. <laughs> <laughs> so, you heard her. Let's go. <laughs> I need go. all of you to roll me intelligence, and I'm looking for a five. Oh boy. Ooh. Oh, okay. damn. I maxed out. One way or the other. Uh, that was a three for me. So I just barely made it. Ten. Hmm. I got an eight. Uh, you all, all four of you see as Kim and Nanako approach. Uh, Nanako has her flashlight out and she's looking, you know, pretty pretty determined. She's very excited to be out here doing this. Uh, behind her is the, you know, swirling vortex of death with thousands of hands reaching out of it that she does not seem that bothered by. I would be, but that's her. And Kim is next to her. Lenny, Kwame, and Dahlia, you notice something else. You notice several rats go running past the two of them and past the four of you. Well, well, um, and if if I remember correctly, we were told we need to deal with Skaven. Um, you haven't been told you need to deal with Skaven. You have more or less kind of figured, well, in this reality, instead of Kim being brought back to life through your actions, through someone's actions, Kyle came back to life. Yes. And Kyle was always a little bit of a jerk. So probably worth looking into. But if I also remember correctly, I, unfortunately, it's the one a lot happened last episode, and I didn't write any notes down. Rip. Uh, but didn't Morpheus say that if we dealt with Skaven, that would is give true. us Loki and I guess I thought that is true. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Morpheus has been mentioned that this Skaven fellow has been a thorn in his side. Yeah. Okay. Um. Well, seeing the little rats, well, we follow them. We probably find the person we need to um hopefully deal with yeah i say we go we hunt down the great horned rat and uh you know like do our job 
Uh, Kim's always y'all, naturally. Y'all couldn't have fought the rat on the episode I was away, huh? Okay. <laughs> Kim. All right. Kim's always very pale, but the color has left her face when you guys keep saying rat, and she just can we stop saying the R word? Can can we can we stop saying the R word, please? Pretty please. Right. Are you scared of them? I. I'm not. I, you know what? I'm not scared of anything. Okay. All right. You know what? I'm the adult here. I I can drink. I can drink I now. I wasn't What's saying. Oh, right? so can I? Stop. The, mm. I wasn't saying. But it they're an integral mean, part of the play, the Nutcracker. So I think we should reconsider this. Oh well, in that case, fuck them. No, seriously, Ken. There's literally nothing to be ashamed of. You're afraid of them. I mean, I'm not particularly wild about spiders, but. Everyone's against me today. I need my parents. <sighs> Is there any time he's ever be- not being a drama king, Kwame? No. Okay. It is It is not possible. You know, I didn't think someone could beat out Dahlia. I was wrong. I take that as a compliment. It is. You are quite theatrical. All right. Wow. So how do we want to deal with Skaven? And... More importantly, with Kyle. Well, uh, the the first question we need to figure out is, are they going to be an enemy? And if they are an enemy, do we, you know, separate the divinity from Kyle? I feel kind of weird about that. But if, I I don't know. We have to figure it out when we get there, maybe. I mean, Uh, you, you knew him. You went to school with him, Kim. What, can you tell us a little bit about him? (sighs) <sighs> Kim takes a deep breath and pinches the bridge of her nose, trying to regain some composure after embarrassing herself, even though it wasn't that embarrassing, but who might t- say otherwise? <sighs> I'm just going to be honest with you guys. Kyle was an asshole. All right. Like, he was a really good fighter. He really enjoyed going at. After crows, um, I don't blame him. Kyle's kind of the one that got me killed. Um, It wasn't his fault, okay? We were in over our head. He kept pushing forward. The rest of us wanted to back out and, uh, I went in, tried to save him. I took a, uh, you know what? I'm not going to, one trauma at a time. One try, I, trauma at a time. I do have another question. I'm sorry to kind of keep pushing this. But the Kyle from our world and the Kyle from this world might have had different experiences. Maybe. I mean, in this world, I didn't die. So, and he did. Did you ever meet him, Nanako? Nanako thinks about it for a moment. Um, ah, jeez. No, I haven't. Sorry. Um, I saw him once in the music room. He was can with I, uh, Spear Bro. Can I? So we are... And us, Nanako shrinks. <laughs> we are us in these bodies, and we we've established that there's some memory like crossover. Can I like presumably we are the ones who brought him back to life months ago? Can I like try and search my memory for what I know about Kyle? Uh, sure, I'm gonna ask for an intelligence roll. Uh, this is a very difficult one, so I'm gonna be looking for a six. Eight. Max Let's go. Again. God damn. C. Yeah, that's a nat eight too. Natty eight. Wow. Um, okay. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and let you ask three questions, and I'll honestly, and I'll on a little bit of. <laughs> I will answer them honestly. <laughs> answer them. I answer them. Okay. Answer. My three questions are. Did it seem like Kyle had as hard of a time reintegrating as Kim did? Uh, no, no. Okay. Um, Kyle, 
Kim has always had that air of I've been horribly traumatized and I'm barely holding it together. But Kim had a much harder go before her death. And Kim also was kind of a ghost for a decade. Coming back was really sort of, well, fish out of water. Kyle, on the other hand, had it pretty easy before then, before the incident. And if he was a specter of any sort, he never mentioned it. So while Kyle definitely has issues, you couldn't pick up like any sort of like trauma bomb waiting to go off. Okay. I see Doggo. What? Doggo. Where? Off camera. Sorry. Yeah. What does? Oh, there he is. Hello. Like, what would I know about, like the like the kind of divinity that power he wields? Like, I know that like Kwame can change stories, and 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 you know Manny can find the truth of that. Like, what is like the like the essence of like his divinity? A real good question. So, the Horned King or Skaven, as it's usually just kind of called as shorthand, uh, is a very interesting divinity because there doesn't seem to be any sort of creative instinct behind it. It is purely destruction. Uh, he makes bombs. Rat bombs. I hate all of that. I literally don't like that. 420, y'all! Whoop, whoop! Hey, 420, nice! Okay. Third question. How do we stop him? <laughs> <laughs> it's a real layup. <laughs> layup, okay. Um, hit him harder than he hits you enough times until his HP reaches zero. That feels. That was the throwaway question, but you know. I will yeah. actually. You know what? If you want a different answer, if you want a different question, I will give you that one. Yeah, I. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to ask for a third one because I don't. I don't understand does. what he's doing here, or if he's. What, what do he's... we? What do we know about? Like what? What interactions did we have with him after he came back? Like what were the type or of like, interactions? What does he have? Yeah. Yeah, like what's his yeah. relate? Um, we all asking different questions, but like, I, I, I think yes. Generally what speaking, is like, their relationship connection? Because we need to figure out like how to pinpoint. Okay, um, Eric, since you're this is your third question, uh, what with out of the one everyone proposed, what would you like it to be? I think I think we're all kind of hitting the same sort of idea. Like we know, like when Kim came back, the kind of person she was and what she was after and, and like, you know, she, she didn't have a home and all that stuff. And that's, so like, what is, when Kyle came back, what was he like in his just personal life all about? Was he like obsessed with a certain thing or was he just like being himself? Like, did he jump into anything? Like, like, um, was there a noticeable change, I guess? Yeah. Since you didn't really get to know him before he came back, the question you don't you don't really have a lot to compare it to. Um, I will say, however, when he came back, uh, he began to live with uh, Mister uh, Mister Ari Scratch. Yeah, and that is who, Mister Who, principal. That principal. Yes, uh, oh, I renamed him because oh. I, I got a little message about the name from on Discord one time. So, yes, Ari Scratch, a, formerly known as Ari Black. Scratch. Scratch. Gotcha. Yes, uh, he apparently... I heard artist Scratch, and I was like, ooh. Sorry, continue. Artist Scratch. What yeah. the fuck? He's living with Artie He's living with Artie Crouch. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Artie Crouch. Wait, Everyone's favorite NPC. living with a student? Um, a little weird. Apparently, uh, he has stewardship of him. So that's like honestly that does not help us in any way, shape, or form. That means he is just probably corrupted. <laughs> I mean, it's it does help problem. us a little bit because at least we can come in with some kind of idea of like his personality yeah. type and what his baggage might be. Yes, um, and how much he knows. Now, Dahlia, all this talk of 
Uh, Kyle, I want you to roll me intelligence, and I'm going to look for a three. This is a very low challenge. Seven. All right. So you recall after this version of you broke up with Spiro. No, don't do it. They started hanging out a lot. And a little before the incident, Spiro and Kyle went into the dreaming together. And when they came out, Spiro asked for the memory wipe. And you remember this now. And you look over. So to you Monaco. want me to kill this man? I don't want. Hey, I'm, I don't want you to kill anyone. But you see, not. I'm not. You rolled way above what I was asking. But so you can also see Nanako all talking about Kyle and everything. It is bumming her out too. Oh boy. Oh, oh boy. Oh boy. This is a lot. Kyle's just really, he's got to be glad that I got a, a divinity that seems a little morally uh, righteous. If I had got another one closer to where Persephone's coming from, I don't know, guys. I'm feeling like this second version of myself is a little bit. Persephone has more presented right. a bouquet that says, kill the bitch. <laughs> I want to. Oh, oh. I want to hurt him. I I hand uh, Dahlia a beer. <laughs> Kim takes it. No. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So we know that we're probably walking into a situation with somebody who may not be reasoned with. That doesn't necessarily mean we don't try. But we have to be prepared for the possibility that we're going to have to lay down some major hurt on this guy. And well, that's it's a good thing that my fists are named Major and Hurt. Because he's about to go down. I feel like they'd be named stage left and stage right. Oh, that's a good one. I think that's in a different situation. But exit stage oh, right and exit probably. stage left is really good. Yeah. Um, okay, I have to talk to you about the other parts that I named. <laughs> um, um we should keep going we should keep going how about we continue in this direction where the rest ah! of the is wow even <laughs> i got that one and i don't know fam i think we should keep <laughs> and, like, I don't even know what to say. Oh, Chad, okay. Oh, bother. Oh, bother. So, <laughs> as when you mention moving forward, one of the rats wearing an outfit that looks a little bit militaristic, um, not like actually. Oh militaristic but kind of kind of like a bored teenager doodling in a high school notebook who's really into heavy metal it opens its mouth and in a voice that's clearly not coming from it it goes <laughs> oh hey sup so you guys woke up and know what your fucking deal is now right uh, uh you oh, better check yeah, your attitude it's... really quick. Because I'm guy got a short fuse right now. Oh, what? Are you really sad about your boyfriend? Ex-boyfriend? <laughs> oh, man. That's funny. I'm funny. Oh, yeah. Sorry. I should tell you. You guys probably don't remember me. I'm Kyle. I know you very well. Manny, you better hold me back. Oh, what? Like you're going to kick a rat? Dahlia? No, she probably won't kick the rat, but Kawame punched the hell out of it. Um, It goes flying with a squeak and lands. <clears throat> okay, try that again. I fucking dare you. Can I use my second divinity's powers? Okay, so in order to switch over your divinity, it costs one AP point. 
Two. Uh, totally fine. Two. Oh, you're right. Two, two AP points. Okay. But then any power on the list is one AP point. Cool. Um, I am going to use my animal possession ability. Um, and I'm going to ask Brigid to call every single uh, animal that's above a rat on the, like, you know, the, the, the animal scale that would eat a rat. And I want the, I want her to call them to this area. Kind of like point them towards Kyle. Okay. Dahlia, I like this. I'm just going to ask for an intelligence roll real quick. Yeah. Four? Yeah. Looking for a four? <clears throat> I can't see chat. Seven. Seven. Okay. Um, so even though you're pissed and this guy is clearly kind of a shit heel, um, you're in the corridor of the multiverse where everyone goes when they're dreaming. Uh, and you realize summoning every animal above the evolutionary scale of a rat might be a problem. I'm not going to uh, tell you you can't do it. I'm just going to warn you. It's going to be tricky. Right. It's a big ass. I ask. thought we were I thought we were on campus and I was just going to call them to me. Oh no, nope, yeah, we are in the dreaming right now. <clears throat> gotcha. Um maybe you just well, summon then, all the cats. Yeah, I'll summon all the cats. I'll summon That's a still big, a big one. Of cats. Uh, I'll right. summon 25 cats. 20. 25 cats. A reasonable 25. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. So uh, for one AP point, I'm going to ask you to roll. We're going to make this charisma range because you're trying to summon all of them to one location. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be honest, we're looking for at least a 12. We got a F ton of rerolls. So Let's go! Esports! <laughs> <laughs> Eric, you have the sound... You have a soundboard. Don't we have an air horn? <laughs> I was joking, but I'm impressed. <laughs> I'm never joking about Kyle, air horns. you better learn how to run, because soon you're going to be calling yourself Bile. And I want to summon the cats. <laughs> Please just... <laughs> Anansi looks up from his uh, trombone. I, I have that. I don't know which one it is. I think it's this one. No. You know, it still works. Oh, I've got, really is it this one? No. <laughs> this one, maybe? No, that's not that one. Yeah. I don't remember where it is. <laughs> Amazing. Somewhere. Out of literally every corner of this dream space, uh, you feel the earth move under your feet as it rumbles and shakes and doors begin to slide down the infinite hallways of the dreaming and pour open and there's Hello Kitty, there's Garfield, there's uh, the cat villagers from Animal Crossing, there's, there's the uh, cats from cats. There's the cats from cats. How are they so naked? Um, there's the cats from- Thundercats there? The Thundercats are definitely there, and they're very confused by the new Thundercats, the ones that are like gay big, that you know, they're like a foot tall, yeah. maybe chibi, um, and just cat and meme cats. And some of them have keyboards, and some of them are, you know, grumpy cats. And um, the scene now has the, the scene. So, literally, every <laughs> one of you has the condition cats 13. What the heck? She summoned 25 cats. There are always cats underfoot. They're Sorry, always exactly where you don't need them to be. What it's is this? Person. My apartment? <laughs> it's my first time no, you're fine. Day. You're good, Dahlia. We can, we can work so today. many cats. Okay. Nanako begins sneezing a lot. Maybe They're so cute, but I'm allergic. <laughs> Maybe just starts flying. <laughs> Not wind. Honestly, looking at Manny... Knowing that we're probably going to deal with Kyle very soon, um, Anansi said, oh, "No, no, Anansi." Uh, Kwame goes, "I like your style." Um, hey, Anansi, it's um, vacation time. He closes his suitcase, puts on his little hat, opens up a door on your shoulder, and 
walks out. And as he walks out, the void uh, behind, the shadow behind, shadow in the dreaming, shadow behind uh, Kwame begins to just fill and bubble as not only does Abaddon form, but then that form comes over Kwame as I do my second ability, which is embodiment of the empty. Um, and Kwame becomes basically a void version of himself with void inky horns and wings. And he begins to fly. High five. You look cool. All right. As the two Wait. take flight. <laughs> no, I'm not going to do it. <laughs> and uh, Stephen, I messaged you real quick. I messaged you in Discord I, oh. just for some specifics uh, about the, the, the ability. But um, thank still. you. Hmm. All right. Do, do, do. I am giving this a little read over. Do, 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 do. You can do some role play. I look at that. Um, I will keep this in mind and I will let you know. Cool. Yeah, I, 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 we get, didn't solidify it beforehand. Any of you. <clears throat> um, Do we roll the initiative now? As, well, let me set the scene, but you will in a sec. Okay. As you are surrounded by cats and Kwame and Manny take to the sky, Lenny, you notice more rats underfoot and they are running towards each other, um, jumping oh, no into each other, entangling each other, swarming themselves. And soon there is an 18-foot wall of rats and Kim faints in the lion's arms. Um, the rats part and you see with Oh, he's such a chode. Wearing mostly black, this scrawny jackass. <laughs> hey. And I need everyone to roll initiative. I absolutely hate him already. Nothing about him makes me happy. Speed versus dex. And so what we I got should roll really the speed good. dex of whichever divinity it is we currently have active, correct? Yes, please do. All right, sweet. I'm re-rolling. That's rude. I mean, okay. If you really want to, we only yeah. have 21 re-rolls. Exactly. By the way, we are $80 away from that beach episode. That's better. Hell yeah. Y'all are uh, rocking it. I'm going to re-roll too, because that's also a totally bullshit uh, like, initiative. I have D12s but... on both of those. I'm rolling higher. <laughs> higher and higher. Higher. Try it again. Not much better, but you know what? We have to keep it. Not a five. <laughs> not a five, but it is still not great. All right. Before and let's get that music going. Best music. All right. So it looks like the top. So let me make sure I have this right. Top of the order is going to be Kwame. Then, then with the initiative 12, Kyle is going to go. Followed by Lennox. Uh, uh, then Dahlia. Then Manny. Yeah. That look right. Seems right. Say that, say that one more time, sir. Uh, Kwame is going first. Uh-huh. And Kyle. Lennox. Dahlia. And Manny. No, I think Kyle's initiative was a one. Yeah, he rolled double snake eyes, so yeah. Um, uh, no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Mika saw it. No, I, I, I believe yeah, I Mika. It. I don't think Mika's a liar. So that part, mm -mm. Yeah. I would never. <gasps> Me never. Oh my god! All right, Kwame. Before you is a wall of rats. It is squirming and squeaking. Some of them have these bizarre little Mad Max-esque costumes. In the center sits a young man, uh, scrawny and pale, uh, with some torn up clothes that look like they belong in the 1980s, but not. Uh, and he smiles at you, and it is a smile you don't like. No, I don't. And I just say... We, in my inky form, just, you know, black ichor, just like dripping off as he's just floating up there with his wings. 
Um, you know, we don't want to fight, but you're making it a little harder when you threaten us like this. Um, and uh, as I say that, I kind of just like splay my hands and two long, almost like tendril-like things form before they stiffen and come to a point as I summon in my void daggers. Um, uh, which is, we decided weapons cost one AP point to summon, but it costs nothing to use them. Bingo. Because I am inconsistent until I write it down. Yeah, I'm, I literally wrote it down on my first sheet to make sure I knew now. Um, and um, yeah, there's a wall of rats, but I'm also flying. So I'm going to swoop right down at them. Okay, um, you are an assassin, so go ahead and roll to hit. This sounds like a normal assassin attack, which is, I believe, speed and plus dex. speed dex. Yes. Yeah. Plus and one. Plus one. Okay. Uh, wait, but what is it? It's speed and dex. What is it normally? Not aside from my second ability. Can we only do like? Is it like minus two, plus two, whatever? Uh, nope, nope. According as an assassin, the normal uh -huh. thing is dex plus speed plus one plus so, one okay mm -hmm. are we adding anything from the second ability yet or we want to look at that um, for a second? i have an idea for how we want to handle that so that i'll let good. you know yeah all right speed index plus one we're looking for a 12 uh it's a 13 it's a 14 oh hell yeah okay roll your damage dex plus speed minus one minus one nine all right. Uh, I will now roll his defense to make sure to see how much he holds off. Ooh, uh, he is going to block a lot of it. Um, you're looking at him, and suddenly rats just come and take a lot of the blast. But it hits him in the chin, and he kind of looks down, and he's smiling a lot. And then like, I feel like as the dagger like kind of stabs towards him, it only nicks him because most of the rats kind of cover it. They did. Uh, but there's like, as it pulls away, there's a clear like black point uh, where it struck. And he says, you know, I'm getting used to this, but you're not the only destroyer here. That's me. <laughs> I might not be the only destroyer, but I'm better at it than you. And okay, he is going to, uh, well... He set us up the bomb, folks. This is a D12 and a D8. All right, that is going to be 15. I Kwame, roll your defense. I hate that one. Seven. D8 slash R, D8 plus D. D12 minus two. Oh. You take nine. Whoo, that's bad. Would you like to use a reroll on your defense? No, 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 no. I, I got a high. That was for me. That's high. Um, Suddenly, so a, yeah. All of you just see a huge explosion of just fire, and it, you smell brimstone. It's gross. I almost and feel like as I after. as I as I get exploded upon, especially that brimstone, like it definitely sears for a second, but it's like kind of sear oil. It doesn't really, uh, doesn't really connect that much. And then he just kind of inks back over. Just, Is that all you got? <laughs> oh, I have plenty. However, he will have, he'll have to wait because next up is Lennox. Okay, so. Um, I would like to use my telepathy to just sort of see what his motivation is in this moment. I want to know, like, Lenny just wants hey. to, like, dig deep in this guy's skull and see what, like, what he's after. Like, what, he's just, like, fighting for no reason right now and being a dick, and maybe that's it. But is, is, if there's more to that. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let you roll range intelligence. You're going to be looking for a 12, which is his initiative. Uh, and if you make it, three questions. Okay. Boop. Uh, 16. Ooh, you make it. Yeah. Uh, is, that a, is that a, it's almost a crit. Yeah, it's pretty um, close. 
So you all see him wince as as Lenny, you enter his mind. And... Yeah, I think Lenny literally does that anime thing of like disappearing, reappearing right in front of him and just like puts his hand on his forehead. Uh, just like uh, at the end of Avatar, his head goes back and the world goes uh, white and red for a moment. What I'm are taking your away your bending. No, my rat bending. Ew. Oh, I don't like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, what is Kyle after? Kyle wants to... Kyle wants to impress Scratch. He wants to impress Ari. He wants to, uh... He wants to prove his death wasn't because he was inept. It was because of everyone around him. Oof. There. Okay. Gosh, there are so many things I could say about this particular character. Like what? You know, just, just gonna hold. I think I, I think that isn't enough of an implication in and of itself. But I don't have to say anything else. Hmm. Yeah. So, does there seem to be any sort of, um, like, m magical sort of mind controly? aspect to this is this truly this person's want or does it seem like there's like manipulation in this there is absolutely manipulation in this every bad like knee-jerk feeling he's had has been amplified up um he is in control of himself but someone has pushed him to do this okay um victim and victimizer really mm-hmm uh, has anyone got a good third? Does he have any phobias? Yeah. Hmm. He's afraid of a car flying off the freeway and landing on him. Okay. Sort of like psychically disseminate all this information. Yes, um, when you pull your hand back, he shoves you, uh, not very far, you're athletic, but away from him. Um, it looks like he's about to strike when finally uh, we go to Dahlia. Uh, I'd like to use, uh, I'm gonna call upon Brigid again and ask for animal possession. I'm gonna try to possess his rats, turn them towards oh. us. Okay, um, I'll let I'll let you try. It's going to be very difficult. Uh, yeah. You're going to need at l you're going to need at least a seventeen. Okay. Is that doable and with your dice? What is the its strength defense? Um, is that what it is? That would be if you're attacking him. You're trying to take yeah. away something from him. Yeah. So I think it makes more sense to be a. Uh, I think it makes more sense for it to be a. Power Charisma. Power Charisma. So my power is six. My Charisma is 12. I could do an 18. But that's make critting. It. So is 18 the DC? Uh, the DC is 17. DC 17. Okay, yeah. We'll try. We got a you lot of rerolls. Re so you can at least try twice. I'm going to reroll. Okay. Uh, we spend a reroll and nine again. Uh, Uh, and this is your uh, one of your divinity powers, correct? Yes. Okay. Animal uh, you you feel yourself like tap into that feral id of a warrior, and it just doesn't work. These rats, there's something wrong about them. They're not a normal animal. Um. <sighs> I'm sorry. Next up, Manny. Uh, as Dahlia attempts to get these animals and is rebuked, it is your turn. All right. I am going to activate... I'm going to spend the IP to activate my sword and shield real fast. All right. Um, but I want to use my second uh, anima ability on Ma'at, uh, which, if y'all remember, is I suck all the oxygen out of the room. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like to suffocate these rats if possible. Oh, damn. Um, Grim. 
So hey, if you okay, guys, um, guys do. I'm gonna ask for an intelligence roll before you do this. Uh, that ah, uh, sure. Looking for a five. Intelligence is great, great for me. I'm gonna re-roll that. That's a one. Oh, wow. I would recommend it. Yep. That's a one again. We seem to be having a thing today where we roll twice and get the same number. Yeah. And hey, I have good news. I have some good news. Don't worry, there's good news. Uh, we raised five hundred dollars, so we're doing a beach episode. Yay! So I failed my intelligence roll. Yes. Um. Okay, you failed it. I'm not gonna tell you what I would have told you had you passed. Uh -huh. So do what you'd like to do. Sweet. What am I rolling for this? I'm rolling. Uh, this is a. Um, we're gonna make this. Since intelligence range. Practice... Okay. Oh, great. Yes, my two best stats, of course. Well, you're trying to remove something no, 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 from no, no, a no. large you're, area. You're fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's just they're not. You say that, but the voice. Uh... Ooh, child. I will reroll. Um, why is this happening to me, y'all? It's a rough day for you, boy. I also cannot, for some reason, maximize the correct page. All right, let's try it again. Six. Six. Uh, you halfway on. Oh my god. Okay. All right. Uh, you try it and go ahead and roll me intelligence again. Uh -huh. This time, rolling for a three. I mean, you think you're not asking a lot of me, but my dude. You got a fifty-fifty shot. The four. You did it. That's four. four. You did it. You did it. These rats aren't breathing. Oh, fucking Christ. You realize that. The rats aren't breathing. Repeat the rats. I don't think they're alive. Um, We have a horde of undead rats. Lots of undead rats, y'all. You gotta love it. And by that, I mean hate it. All right. We're back to the top of the order. Kwame, you have your... uh. What do you call them? My 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 weapons? Yeah, what do you call them? My void daggers. Your void daggers. You have your void daggers at the ready. You are in you're in position. What are you gonna do? Stab this man's face again. Um Alright, yeah. that's gonna be deck speed plus one. Yep, deck speed plus one. Mm, I'm doing that over. Yeah, I would. Dang it! That's a miss. Uh, you try to hit him, and uh, he just moves out of the way. He doesn't even move. The rats move him. He just, yeah, he gets kind of, you know, to, I think each time he tries to stab, the void doesn't stay solidified. Um, so it just kind of, like, bounces off of him, and he's like, ah, okay, focus, <laughs> focus. Remember, Abaddon, this is, you have a stake in this, too. Um, Behind us. What? Uh, and it's now his turn. Uh, and you <laughs> see Kyle has appeared and he chucks a rat king at you. These rats and their tails are all intertwined. It's hideous. Um, and he is going to try to hit you. Roll 1d12 plus 1d8. After 15, that is going to hit. And it Does is it take not any minuses? Cats. Oh, you're right. He is uh, 14. He meets. <laughs> yeah. I mean, literally meets. <laughs> yeah, go ahead and roll me your defense as I roll his damage. Oh, hell no. Would you like Re -roll. to roll that? Yeah. That's Much better. better. All right, you take five as these rats explode in your face. A Abaddon spreads. It's kind of like a venom situation. It opens up before encasing you again. Uh... Shocked from the blast. To, I need to know what this embodiment's giving me. I feel like I'm just here. F. Okay. Okay. That's fine. Uh, yeah, yeah. He gets. Uh, the worst part is you can't tell he's hurt. He is nope. a blob of void. But he's still there. Yep. So next up, we move over to Lennox. Um, Get him. Uh, did, so is Kwame pretending like he's not hurt? 
Uh, uh -oh. it's not it's not even that. Uh, he definitely looks like he's staggering. I think like there's more okay, I'm, dripping off of him versus like he's... I've watched a couple of, like grenades go off on you or whatever. Mm -hmm. So yeah, Lennox boyfriend. I'm just yeah. saying. Lennox, you you see like Lennox like steps back, uh, becomes like sort of like wrapped in like incense smoke as he quickly changes to his his new divinity, uh, and uh, yeah, he's gonna he's gonna heal Kwame. All right, um, there's not really a whole thing for this, so let's go ahead and make it uh, intelligence power. Twelve. All right, twelve. Uh, you heal Kwame for six. Hey, I take that. And you said, you, what does it look like again? It well, you, you just smell like incense and like fresh grapes and like and like grain and 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 like honey and all these like classic like like the kinds of foods you would leave at a temple. I also feel the need to interrupt that we have hit seven hundred fifty dollars. So oh oh wow. All right, uh, now Eric, would you want me to take care of that, or is this going to be a you project? I mean, I, I'm I'm willing to allow a more collaborative uh, choice for this. <gasps> All right, so uh, when the second when we have our uh, when we come back after the break, we'll bring Gladys back with a divinity. Yay! I have no idea what that's going to entail. But hey, we're pretty close to making CB watch anime, and that's worth <laughs> the price of admission. I think um, somewhere in the distance, a, a biblical card just like grumbles. Um, <laughs> but uh, I think the void, like the, the form of the void, just kind of turns and for a moment looks at Dahlia because knows that Persephone is like flowers and like incense and stuff, but then like swiftly looks over at Lenny and there's like a flick and there's like a small little void kiss. Yeah, because you you see like like little wisps of incense coming off him that normally don't do that. Yay! I love it. <laughs> Bet. Cool. Thank you. I can say that I have a gay friend. Um. All right. Next up, we move to Dahlia. Dahlia. Um. There are explosions. There are rats. There's cats. Yes. Um. I'm I'm kind of noticing that Kyle is focusing on Kwame, right? Uh, because Kwame and Kyle are in melee, Kwame's been holding his attention the most, so. Okay. Uh, I would like to use my second ability for Brigitte, uh, defense manipulation. And I would like Ooh. to, um, basically augment a, like, full-scale armor for Kwame's void. But it's kind of, it doesn't get in the way and it's not heavy. Because it's not I actual am... steel. I love that. Okay, uh, this is going to be intelligence and defense. And this is going to be a condition on Kwame, but a nice one. Nice. I feel like I want to re-roll this, though. All right, all right. I'll be nice and take the higher of the two rolls. Twelve. Okay. Uh, Kwame, add plus six to your next defense roll. Okay. That's dope. Y'all, the synergy of our divinities right now is just chef's kiss. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, Somehow we picked second divinities that all work really well together. Because <laughs> I think we all were together. like, what do I want to do in fights that I'm not already doing? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> True. True. And True. just to reiterate for y'all, uh, in order to switch back to your other divinity is a free, it's a free action. Mm -hmm. But to switch okay. to your secondary divinity is one AP is two AP. Yeah. yeah. Sorry. Cool. Yes. So uh, we go to Manny. Yep. Speaking of which, I'm going to go ahead and dump two AP to switch over to Quetzalcoatl. Whoop whoop! Rainbow and battle. And if I do, I'm also going to spend. It's only one AP for the second. For ability. any ability, yes. Okay. So I, you see as they switch over to Quetzalcoatl in their hand forms a, like, like a shaft of essentially sunlight that they throw from their hand towards Kyle. Uh, I'm using the Sun Sphere of Knowledge. Oh, God uh, The damn. Sun Sphere of Knowledge uh, 
is a sphere made of light that upon striking its target imparts on them knowledge so terrible they begin to lose their mind. This is an attack. Uh, um, yes, ooh. it absolutely is. Let's go. Uh, now, real quick, Aki. Now, we discussed earlier of changing uh, Ma'at into a fighter, correct? Yeah, but we're not going to do that. I decided I like them just the way they are. So. Okay, uh, but what is Quetzalcoatl? So, what, what is Quetzalcoatl? Quetzalcoatl is a fighter. Quetzalcoatl is a fighter. Thank you. Yes. All right, so it's going to be strength and power minus one. Uh, I think it's plus two, actually, for a fighter. Or, no, wait, you're right. I think you're right. Mm -hmm. Your accuracy is not the best, but you do more damage. Hold and on. we're looking Let's for a 12. Have, the, have these freaking... I built these macros just to make sure that they actually work. There we go. <laughs> Uh, wow! I'm gonna reroll that shit. Oh Jesus! Arrow. Yeah, no, I would. Come on, Quetzalcoatl, I believe in you. Uh, an eleven, which okay. I don't think hits. Mm, that does not hit. Yeah. Oh, is he a twelve? He's a twelve. Dang, yeah. tartar sauce. That wasn't yes. a bad roll, though. Uh, he sees the. His attention is very much on Kwame for the moment, but. Manny, you toss that spear, and he hears it coming, and he just ducks, and it stabs a rat, and you see the rat start screaming about existentialism, and it is nothing anyone needs. Yeah. I do want to just say that, like, they would have put their shield on their back in order to be able to toss the spear, so the, the shield is on their back currently. Okay. Um, also, I just remembered we have Cats 13 on the, <laughs> on the damn uh, scene. Uh... So because I remembered this, if you roll under a 13, I will ask you to lower a die. And that does apply for our bad guy here, too. Oh, I think, I think we, uh, Manny and, and Kwame are flying, so are we still affected by that? Yes. Oh, the whole okay. scene? God, there's a lot of cats of various sizes, my friend. You no, see no, it? No. You see it? I'm sorry, John. They probably think you're a bird and are trying to, like, jump and swat you out of the sky. So. Yep. Hey, cool. All right. Uh, I, I forgot. I should have been implementing that, and I apologize. So, uh, it's back to the top of the order with Kwame. Uh, cool. I'm trying to think real quick. Where's Manny at right now? Manny just... Uh, it's still not quite in melee because um, they threw the spear, so they're they're probably a, a a little bit above and behind you. They want? Are they coming into melee? They're going to on their next attack. Got it. Um, let's make that easier for you. Um, I look back, seeing um, Manny coming closer, um, and um, hmm, how do I want to? How do you want to do this? So I'm going to describe what happens and I want to describe what I think I want to come out of it. Okay. Um, as I look back at Manny, I just kind of uh, toss my hand out to the, uh, towards them. And there is a, 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 a black Vanta black Ickery pool that forms underneath uh, Manny and swallows them with the intent of teleporting them right next to um uh Kyle with a sneak attack because they just appeared out of nowhere. They can't block it. I like I'm using it. my abyssal teleportation, which is my first AP uh first power, with like the intent it. of them coming right when they attack. Okay. Uh I'm completely on board. This will be the one AP boat. It's your first yeah. power, right? So one yeah, AP. Yeah. Um, as you didn't shift this turn. Uh it's going to be range. That's definitely a range. Yeah, I agree. Uh, should this be dexterity or intelligence? I think this is dexterity because it's intending to be stealthy and quick. I think that's completely fair. Yeah, it's like it's not really being smart; it's being getting there fast without okay. them realizing. Uh, so dex and range, um, and this is going to add a plus two because of my embodiment. Mm. Yes. This is dope. I wanted it over. Please do. Eleven. Eleven. Okay. Uh, I think I that's good enough. Yet, so. 
All right. Uh, so, Aki, I want you to re-roll your initiative and add, uh, let's see, uh, three to the roll. Oh, boy. Here we go. Ooh. I currently have Quetzalcoatl active, so let me re-roll. I think it's fair since you were trying to do a sneak attack to let them, you know, try to do it, you know, act sooner. Yeah, I agree with that. And if you roll and higher than a 12, do? yes. Uh, it's only an eight, so there'd be a 10. Should what I re-roll? Do do the re-roll? Let's, we have so many re-rolls, I might as well. Yeah, we have them. A... I rolled worse. But so I will take the it's higher of the two. It's going to be a 10. A 10 would be above what I rolled. Yes. And I go, yeah. So, uh, so I believe that, yeah, I believe that changes it to Kwame, Kyle, Lenny, Manny, Dahlia. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Let me write down the new order. Ooh, that's fun. I kind of like the initiative switching. Um, Excuse me, Dahlia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Excuse me, she has fallen to a void. <laughs> we. <laughs> All right. Um, Noticing, however, that Lenny did the healing and him being a kind of a nerd, <laughs> you always go for the healer first. Uh, so he is going to go after you, Lenny. Bad choice. Canonically, I think all of this weird nerd knowledge that I'm giving Lenny is 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 new <laughs> Lenny's knowledge that's just seeping in. Yeah. <laughs> because he was never part of like sports, he was into nerd stuff. All right. Uh, you, have, you have an 11, correct? Correct. All right. Ooh, I'm going to use a reroll. You got him. We have a lot, so I think we're just going to keep calling reroll. <laughs> and I'm just going to let y'all know it ain't rolling over. They're gone. Okay. Valid. No, this is valid for today. Oh yeah. man, Lenny, how do you avoid this attack? Because uh, there is a big explosion like right next to you. Oh, he's, wait, but so he's... uh, also Cat's thirteen, Stephen. You are right. You are right. So I am going to lower uh, his. Hmm. I am going to actually lower his uh, defense. It is now a D4. Good. I need to lower something too because I got over under 13 as well. Oh, that's true. That's true. Uh, I'm lowering his power because he's not using it right now. Yes. Sorry. So uh, Kyle goes to blow you up, Lenny. And how do you avoid it? Uh, I think Lenny, like, as, like, this thing comes at him, Lenny full-on, like, goalie sideway, like, kicks it away in, in like, a feat that for these three uh, with me doesn't seem, like, outside of Lenny's purview. But probably for anyone else who doesn't know him as sports guy seems weird. All right. Uh, it goes flying, and it hits uh, one of the Hello Kitty mascots. It explodes into glitter and pink stuff and he gets it right in the eyes and that's that is going to lower his defense to four uh kwame uh i'm gonna say when you teleported uh manny uh manny brought a cat and the cat, oh, God. and the cat just you know suddenly there's a cat in front of you as well no it's totally a there's tabby also. cat that's Amazing. loud suddenly cats suddenly cat <laughs> is it Mr. Mistopheles? Is he magical? I love Misty. Misty is one of my favorite cats. Uh, no, it's one of the cats from Warrior Cats. Uh. <laughs> I never read those books. Uh, anywho. Anywho. So, yeah. Uh, that's Kyle's turn. He is sputtering, trying to get this stuff out of his face. Lenny, you're up. Okay. So, my second... Uh, anima ability redirect anger comes from uh, a very real thing of my uh, goddess's purview, which a uh, ritual to remove the anger of a god and send it to uh, to the underworld. Can I try and like sort of? I don't know if I can do it. I mean, I imagine like with a crit, I could do it. But like, just like start like peeling back the layer of like the the stuff that's causing him to want this. Mm. I will allow that. Uh, I'm going to make this charisma range, and I'm going to give you a plus one because you did so well when you were trying to read his mind. Oh, that's good. Charisma is a D4, not my best stat. <laughs> I believe in you. We have so many rerolls. That's true. 
Well, how bam. Do you know how many rerolls? Twelve you plus what? Plus one. plus one. Okay, so that's thirteen. Oh, right. you just meet cats thirteen. Yeah, uh, I'll do a reroll since I did get a. Well, I got a, an eleven well, on a d twelve and a one on a d four. I probably won't do better. better, but I might as well try. Can't hurt. I did not do. We better. will take so the 13. higher of the two. Higher of the two. All right, I'm going to round that up. He has uh, calmed seven. If he rolls under a seven, if he rolls under a thirteen, cats happen. If he rolls under a seven. Uh, it's going to hit his uh, charisma and also his strength. Ooh, yeah. As, and like, I bank, like Lenny kicks that, like soccer kicks that thing away, and just like telepathy, like just goes, goes, "Hey, man, we're always here if you need to like talk about stuff. Like, you don't got to be so angry all the time." Do you say that out loud, or is this just telepathy? This is like, like mentally into his head. And out loud, Cal just screams, Shut the fuck up! And you're not sure why he said that, any of you, except for Lenny. Uh, Manny, it's your turn now. You shut the fuck up, and I'm going to do a chop chop. Chop chop away! Just like Manny peering in behind him, You shut the fuck up, stab! <laughs> Is it like a, a boot of any kind because it's a sneak attack? Um, you know, I'll let you add a plus one to the roll. Okay. So if you're going for a warrior hit, that will negate the negative one. So I'm I'm doing a I'm I, I I'm using my sword and shield, which is a ma maat thing. So I'm I'm this is my guardian stuff. So okay, so you swap back to yeah. uh, maat. It's a free action to do so. Yeah. Uh, so it's going to be intelligence range. Oh, wait, no, that's no, magician. Was, I, strength, death, strength, defense plus three now. Plus three, cool, got it. Yep. Uh, that's a fourteen. Let's oh. Go. Oh my goodness gracious, great balls of fire. That is absolutely going to be a hit. Uh, go That's ahead and roll friend. that damage. Yeah, it is. He got a one on his defense. Woo! I'm going to re-roll that. I'm using a re-roll. He got a four. Boo. Well, I got a 12 on my damage, so. He takes eight. Put uh, that in your uh, pipe and smoke it. Oh man, he is in pain as the sword goes through his shoulder unexpectedly. He and he's enraged. Um, so, talk about my friend. Talk to my friends like that. Not Dahlia, nice. you're, Dahlia, you're up. I am up. Um, so I want to run. I want to run a thing by you for the defense manipulation. Okay. There's like a uh, there's a thing under it called like defense cancellation. <laughs> where you can just cancel someone else's defense. But I know that sounds a little overpowered. So what that if is we did definitely where overpowered. I cancel my own defense as well as their defense if it's successful. So then I can't Ooh. I can't roll defense, but they can't either. I think that's fair. Cool. That's an eye for an uh, eye. I like yeah, that. It's like a like a barbarian reckless strike. Yeah. It absolutely is. So I mean Dahlia right. is like a barbarian in the making. Let's just be real. Yeah. Uh, I think you mean the, uh, bard barian? The tagline for it says cancel defense of oneself and others, but I feel like it should be oneself and... And one target. And one target, yeah. Um, so I would like to use my power to form um, what looks like a Daedalus hammer from Ooh. Brigid. Love it. And then uh, canceling out like our defense with it. I'm going to run forward and try to hit Kyle while he's focused on everyone else in the party. Every, literally everyone else. All right. So I'm going to make you roll an attack. This is not going to be an attack, though. But if it hits, it negates both of your defenses for cool. one round. Yeah. All right. Go ahead and make the roll. You are a fighter, right? Yeah. So it's strength defense. Strength power. I, I thought. I thought. I thought Brigid was a defense. Uh, oh, was a I thought they were a guardian. Yeah, She's a guardian. Brigid is guardian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, Sorry. yeah. Strength defense plus two. Strength defense plus two. That's 13. a thirteen. Thirteen cats. Thirteen meat. Thirteen hits. Uh, you are not affected by cats. Uh, you hit Kyle and. He's kind of in a daze, but you're also a little dazed too from that. So his defense is negated. I, in my mind, 
in my mind, it doesn't even like hurt because it's hitting something unseen. It's not hitting him. The hammer hits you don't him. Hit him. You hit his soul. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Cool. But All I like right. to just like smile when he looks at me. Oh, did that not hurt? Sorry. Uh, Kwame, top of the order. And as I see, like I, I, I see what this group has done, and the, 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 the more defense that I have right now, those, um, those daggers just grow a little bit and begin to curve as they almost like resemble a scorpion's tail, which is something that Abaddon looks like. Um, Whoa. as I attempt to strike with them, it's not; it's just a cosmetic thing. As he's getting a little angrier. And also, you hit my boyfriend, um, or attempted to. <laughs> oh, you said the B uh, word. I love it. Uh, so, yes, I'm going to attack. That is Dex and speed plus, plus one. Three, right? Plus now. three. You're right. 20. Fuck him up. <laughs> I got your bait. I got your flower, baby. I'll hold it. I'm su <laughs> very surprised that's not a crit. Um, okay, <laughs> roll. Uh, his defense is garbage, so. So I do. I well, he doesn't do... have defense, Steven. Oh, you are completely right. He has no defense, so just uh, roll damage. And, and I do, I would technically do <laughs> minus one, correct? Yes. But since I have a plus two, it's going to be a plus one. I am going to have to re... Uh, now that I'm seeing this in action, I feel like I need to do a little. Well, so so so. I'll allow it. So no no. I'll so allow what, it. What I was I actually going to it. tell you, what I was going to tell you was, I do. I mean, it's it's a second ability, so it's supposed to be strong, but I also don't want it to feel overpowered. So while I have a plus two to my dex and charisma, I think I'm going to have a minus two to my intelligence and strength. I think that's fair, but let me think about it. We'll think about it. The reason being, he's a freaking amorphous blob right now. <laughs> he has no mouth, so and he must he's stab. A, he's a little specific, you know. So, anywho, uh, what is this? Sorry. Uh, oh, just that. All right. All right. Uh, 14 points. Oh, my gosh. All right. Uh, I'm going to let you know, his health is now in the single digits. Uh, you and stab I think, him. Yeah. I, I it it was going to be a stab, but when it gets that hook, it becomes like a um, gouge almost. It's a gouge. Think Cabal or Movado from um, Mortal Kombat. I guess like rip in and yank. Um, and there's just over here. blood and black ichor gets like splaying everywhere. All right. Um, now it's his turn. He's in pain and he's confused as to why he. Usually, the Horn King protects him. Why isn't he protecting him? R one D twelve. The Horned King is feeling kind of chill right now. All right, uh, he is going to try to strike at Lenny again. You know. Actually, no, he's going to strike at Dahlia. Oh, not going to strike at me? Like I'm, I guess hit, I guess f you up, G. Yeah, but this will piss you off more. It's true. <laughs> I'm gonna reroll that. Uh, one sec, one sec. Rerolling that. I want to. I want to see if I can do better. Hey, you're allowed to. GMs are just as much players as we are. Thank you. All right. So that is going to be an eleven, which does hit, but does give him a bad case of the cats. Uh, we yes. are going to lower one of his stats. I'm going to lower his intelligence down from a. Uh, D10 to a D8. Um, Dahlia, roll your defense. Actually, no. you don't get to. Sorry, I just remembered. That's right, I nope. don't have my defense. 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 Worth boom, boom. it. It was worth it. It was worth it. It was worth it. <laughs> you take 14 damage. Maybe it was worth it. No, I'm fine, because I fine. have I have one of the highest HPs in the party. Yeah, so you, and I, you and I are strong. I'm hurting. I'm bleeding. I'm bloodied, but I'm fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, he is going to cheat now. Oh. Great. He, through the blood and the ichor you have inflicted on him, uh, he pulls something out of his hoodie. Uh, it looks like a human heart, but it's desiccated and dried and he takes a bite out of it gross second floor. joe rogan 
is he Joe Rogan? What is happening here? Joe Rogan? I don't want to know what this man- part. It's like part of his diet. <laughs> okay, I think it's a horrifying existence that every day I'm inflicted on information about Joe Rogan, a person who I vaguely remember hosting a show where people ate bugs for money. <laughs> yeah. Every day. But he says you're weak if you don't have Elkhart regularly in your diet, which- yeah. I'm fine being weak. I guess then. I'm weak. Yeah, I guess I'm weak. So uh, what does this do? <laughs> he fights into the heart, and the world shifts ninety degrees. In the dreaming, this, where physics kind of take a funny shape whenever they kind of feel like it. It's shocking how unsettling it is. Uh, the sheep. Uh, Ramsey and what was your other sheep, Eric? Uh, oh, it was uh, it was is Ba Ross, Ba Ross and Ramsey, uh, go falling. Uh, the cats go falling. Everything is just wrong and twisted, and you see things begin to grow out of Kyle protrusions of yeah. rock and flame and I need all of you to uh, prepare to roll defense as he makes his final stand you said what is it gets the defense roll defense roll oh I, I crit I crit I crit on my defense is this still in the same round? Do I have defense back, or...? You have defense back. Okay. <laughs> Might as well re-roll, since... I was like, Dolly is about better, but... <laughs> no, I'll keep the first one. Okay. Yep. I rolled a 25 on 2d20. What the fuck? How does he have 2d20? What the fuck is that? Um, so... Dahlia took 20 damage. She's negative. Are we doing damage? Is this damage? Yes. This is ne Dahlia's negative 10. Uh, I'm only 10. negative 1, so that's good. I am negative 50. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm negative 3. <laughs> am I the only one who's still up? Because we minus our defense from the roll, right? Oh, yes. wait. What yeah. did I get from, from Dahlia? Because I had a defense thing on me. Oh, I that's right. Plus, uh, six. I rolled a plus six. Yeah, plus, plus six. six. I rolled a twelve. Yeah. I am at three. <laughs> Hold Kyle. on, Let me do some math here. Lydia, real fast. I just like all right. I'm still, floor. I'm yeah. still actually doing pretty okay. Still doing pretty okay. With the explosion, you see Kyle's body fall. It's scarred and broken and burnt he is not breathing this must have been some sort of last case scenario situation uh dahlia and lenny i need both of you to roll me 1d20 oh, Jesus. 16 all right 19 very good all right um Manny and Kwame, the two of you are still standing. Whatever that blast was, uh, and even though the world has turned into goddamn inception on you, and you see the ceiling is a wall, and the world just keeps moving downward, uh, you see both of your friends uh, unconscious but alive. I, I, it's kind of appropriate, I think, that the two ones with wings are the ones that stayed aloft. <laughs> um, yes. Uh, I need a dexterity roll as you see the world continue to rotate. It is now officially at 90 degrees, and Lenny and Dahlia and Kyle are all about to fall into whatever is beneath the dreaming. Uh, I rolled a five. That's about as good as I can get without re-rolling and max like critting on a six. And I could try re-rolling, but I think I don't know. I re-rolled and I um um 
I rewrote. So I, I got a ten. Potentially, I I, I I went in and said, "Do you want to do plus one instead of plus two? Because it does feel a little OP." Let's do a plus one. Yeah, but I'll still do the negative one to strengthen intelligence. Um, oh, so it's just, all right. Man, so he's going to phase through things. Help them here at all? Not really. Phasing is not really an issue here. Whatever structure is doesn't exist. Uh, okay. Uh, as you both beat five. You can grab one body, one person. I'll grab Dahlia. I'll grab Lenny. Um, and Kyle keeps falling and falling. And Kyle has fallen into whatever is beyond non-existence. What about Nanako and Kim? That's exactly what Nanako... You see Kim and Nanako. Nanako has made effectively a hammock out of a kimono. Uh, the two of them are clinging onto it for dear life. They are properly horrified. Um, you see the death god and his thousand arms, Izanami, uh, kind of hanging out just next to them. And Nanako's uh. never been... Oh, you're right. My apologies. <laughs> she... Well, kind of they at this point. Yes. I mean, Izanagi she, is. is <laughs> Izanagi, you're right. Yeah. You're right. India. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, she, her thousands of arms, this bizarre caterpillar structure, just looks down as Kyle falls and falls and falls away, nonplussed. And Nanako's never been happier that her divinity wears uh, a lot of clothes. Question. I'm sorry, there's a baby. There is a baby. Hello, Question. doggy. I'm I'm willing for this to be a very hard roll because I got you looking for a five because I got an eleven. Yes. I did get Lenny. Is there any way the Skaven key could be grabbed? Even if I tell if I if it I will put be put a, a put a tele uh, put a um teleportation thing around and gets to grab it and have it drop. Fuck how. Uh, it will be a speed okay. and dexterity roll, which is very good for you. Uh, and I am going to be looking for at least a 15. Okay. Um, yeah, I think that's fair. Uh, I, I have at least, we have at least, we have a F10 of reroll, so I'm at least probably do a reroll to be safe. And I have a plus one to this roll. Also, we're $200 uh, away from uh, making Critical Bard watch anime. Dang it! 13. That's all I got. Uh, even with a reroll, even with a reroll, that was a that was a ten. Well, I tried. It's okay. Kwame, you attempt to teleport the key away from Kyle out of his heart, and instead of catching it, you get something worse. <clears throat> his eyes open and look at you, and you see him mouth "I'm sorry" before he's gone. He falls, crashing through a window. Uh, beyond this dream replica of the school, this world between worlds, and Kyle no longer exists. Did I grab his heart on accident? Mm -hmm. Hmm? You say I you say I didn't get his key, I got something worse. I'm like, did I just grab his heart on accident? You got his forgiveness. Fuck his forgiveness. I don't want that. that gets... <laughs> no, you get to see a kid die. A, a, a teenager when I was a kid. Um, They're all kids. Not like that's any work. But okay. it's not much hey. better. I mean, no, but you, I mean, there is, it's almost expressionless as he's watching. You chose this. Good but Lenny's, Lenny's not awake to hear this. <laughs> we got to get them out of there, out of here. We got to get them help. Um, the the tendrils and, and inkiness um, slowly peels off as the the colorfulness of Anansi's vibes come back. Mm. Can we go I home? I did not like that. I did not like that. I did not like that. Uh, the world rotates a little bit more and it's back to 180 degrees. It is flat. Uh, Nanako and Kim lower themselves from Izanagi. Izanami's uh, hammock. Uh, 
Dahlia and Lenny, you are still out cold. Um, you do not have Skaven's key, but you are aware that it is no longer an issue. Let's find Morpheus and get our people and get out of here. Yeah, that's... Um, can I, like... Um, is there a way to like, wake them up? Um, Let me we have le I have let you use uh, yeah. a Nancy to heal before. Yeah. I will allow you to do that right so now. That, oh, yeah, I'll... I'll I was going to go to the healing thing. I knew he could do that, but I wanted to make sure they were like, okay. Uh, yeah. You check. Uh, they are in a lot of pain, but uh, thankfully, uh, most of you remember, you can't technically die in the dreaming. Uh, Kawame will um, um, look at, you know, Anansi coming back from his vacation. Um can you... Um, he has little Mickey Mouse ears on and a balloon. Perfect. Give them both door whips. Thank you. Hmm. Uh, he doesn't say anything as he does so. Go ahead and roll me charisma power. <laughs> I need to come over here. The charisma. healing power of door whips cannot be understated. Oh my God. Also, you know, if you go around the back where the old Aladdin show used to be, you don't have to wait in line. Uh, no, and you can get different flavors of door whip. It's mm -hmm. so good. And bow. Mm -hmm. That is nine. Uh, that's a nine on that roll. All right. Uh, both of you heal to five HP. And you are awake. And you swear the lingering taste of pineapple is <laughs> with on, upon you. <laughs> As yeah. Dahlia wakes up, she's like, just one more time I start to us. Oh. <laughs> it would be a Disney. I, I don't know where... We, uh, Mika, you said Dahlia's from like uh, East Coast, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, I don't know why, but I love the idea of her family being that family that, oh no, Disney is our thing every year. Oh yeah, road trip down to Florida, for sure. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I will did, help did we, Lenny back did up. We defeat Kyle? Yeah, did we win? Uh, yeah. He just kind of looks over where the, the body fell. Uh, I think I psychically just <laughs> like read all that information. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Then you see almost like emotionless Kawame watch the body fall. I'm going to be right back real quick. Emotional yeah. damage. But yeah. Where's, uh, did we get Skaven's key? We didn't, um, unfortunately. We tried. It didn't quite work out. No. Skaven's gone. Kyle's gone. I don't know if that could have gone any worse. I mean, you... Kim straightens out her suit. You tried really hard. It wasn't your fault. That was not a fair fight. And I don't know what the hell that was at the end there. That was a last resort. That was that was somebody who would have preferred to give up on themselves than try to make things better and take everybody else out with them. I I don't want to be here anymore. I just want to get Morpheus and Loki and go. Yeah, let, let's let's get the bunny and the ginger. Let's let's get the hell out of here, okay? This is we'll wake up, we'll be fine. All right. I mean Kyle won't. No. No, he won't. And he doesn't Wait, get like a Kyle, chance. Kyle's like gone. Gone? I mean like like who who knows? But like, yeah. I, I don't think we're going to see him again anytime soon. That's what you need. Whatever it is, wherever it is that he went, didn't seem like a place you come back from very easily. Not. You see Nanako is breathing deeply. 
not in a I'm scared kind of way, but in a I need to calm myself down right now kind of way. And she looks almost as devastated as you, Lenny. Dahlia almost. also looks pretty devastated. Let's get the fuck out of here, please. Yeah, yeah. Let's 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 do what we gotta do. And then when we get back, I mean, you know the deal. My my room's always open for sleepovers. So I think maybe we should start moving this to your room, Lenny, because you like live off campus and it's much better. I mean, it's I mean it's technically off campus, but it's still like connected. Like you know, I don't have to like try. You know what I mean. Yeah. Anyways, let's go. The six of you travel through the dreaming back to the throne room of this universe's Morpheus, the giant, waggering, cosmo-headed god who speaks in a yawn. Um, and why don't, why don't, why don't you give me a charisma roll? Everybody? Uh, whoever would like to may give me a charisma roll. Sorry I'll take that. the highest. What did that I mean? Nice. Uh, charisma rolls. Charisma rolls. Yes. Charisma is a D4. I couldn't possibly beat me. Yeah, I, have a, I have a D10 charisma. I'm pretty charismatic. Wait, we can re-roll. Yes, you yeah. are. What we... Lousy with re-rolls. Eleven. <laughs> yeah, I'll re-roll it because I have a good one. I got, a, I got an eight, but you know, I'll Let's give go. it another go because why not? I'll just, I'll just see what I like I'm that Kwame Talia had the same dice for charisma. Because I imagine their charisma is very different from each other. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah. But Kwame was built to be a very cool, chill, charismatic person. And just, yeah, yeah Indian, sorry. <laughs> Anyway, it's kind of like Liam. You could argue Liam Michelle does have charisma. Oh, Jesus. Every time I'm compared to Liam, every time Dolly's compared to Liam Michelle, a part of her dies. <laughs> He's so much nicer and so he much. He's more evil every time. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kwame and Dahlia, both of you rolled 11s. Um, you explained the situation and. Morpheus, uh, well, I guess that's fine as long as it's not a problem for me. I got tired of rats. Mm. All right. Uh, with his foppish clap, uh, the walls of Loki and Morpheus's cage collapse into Don't Cry For Me, Argentina, sung by Dahlia. Um... And Bunny Morpheus, Morpheus, blinks his eyes. What the? Dahlia! Morpheus? And your Morpheus comes running up, and you get a bunny tackle hug. It's quite cute. Probably fall over, because I'm still very injured. Yep. Oh, my God. Seriously, I just traveled through, like, three different dimensions. Uh, one of them, you're a dude, by the way. Very cute. Uh, but, no, this is very... Well, you at least present as a dude. Ginger's the construct. Anyway, no, it's very cool. Are you okay? You look sad. Yeah, a lot just happened. I think... Oh. I think I need, like, a long night's rest. And a lot of ice cream. Loki, rubbing their temples... Approaches. I, uh, I'm gonna go out on a limb and assume the worst happened while I was in there. It wasn't great. Let's get the fuck out of here. Get some ice cream, shall we? That would be nice. Moments later, you all awaken inside the North Point campus. Beyond the, bar beyond the barrier of North Point, Oregon, there is a wall that you cannot breach, that you know is the truth of the situation, that you are still 
stuck in this rabbit cage, this uh, maze of desires hoisted upon you by someone who doesn't fully understand what you wanted, who doesn't understand that you need to ask that kind of stuff. And that is terrible. But you've saved two dear friends and you have more friends here who will always have your back. And even though there's still a long road ahead of you, you've at least made some progress today. And as you all get dragged off by Loki and Kim to go get ice cream, you can at least take solace in that. And with that ends part one of the season of New Pantheon Academia. Oh, Woo! oh boy, oh boy. Part oh boy. two is going to be interesting. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Is that a Is that a Oh my goodness, introduce us to your friend. Oh, it's a good rat boy. Oh, we love my them. Good rat boy out. <laughs> I can't let rats be bad. No, no. I no. I personally love rats. <gasps> Look at the little fluffy baby. baby. What's his boy. name? This is Milk. Hi, Milk. Milk. I love that. Food names are great yep. for animals. Ah. So Everyone, we have raised in about two hours $800 for uh, our charity of choice, uh, Equality Texas. That is huge. Thank you all so much for that. You're awesome. Woo! Um, can't thank you enough for that. But hey, you know what? If we raise $200 by the end of uh, our little Goodbyes. We'll make CB watch anime, which I'm sure he's super hyped about. <laughs> look at that face. Look, look at that look. The look on his face just screams, please make me watch anime. Yeah, they love it. They love it. Uh, all right, everyone. We would My pick name... a good one. We promise we would pick a good one. It, it, we will not inflict bad shows on you. Just... We would never. Just... Cartoons. We want it to be something you enjoy. Yes. No comment. <laughs> uh, so, here, thank you for tuning in for this episode of New Pantheon Academia. You can catch up on any episode you missed, along with all the other amazing content Saving Throw Show presents on YouTube or as podcasts. If you watch from there, like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell icon. It's appreciated. Uh, if we made you laugh, made you cry, gave you feels, Adam, uh, you can join the Exploration Society on Kofi. And hey, join our Discord. We talk shop. And hey, there's a thread just for talking about this episode. So if you have a vent, there's a place for it. Um, my name is Stephen Pope. You can find me on TikTok at The Professional Hobbit. Uh, I am thinking about maybe getting a Twitter again. I don't know. I'll think about it. But until then, uh, you can check out my work on the Storyteller's Vault. Uh, new, the Lost Entitlements, Volume 1 and Volume 2, are both available. And Queers, uh, the Sentai Superhero RPG, is coming soon. I have never worked harder on a game. My, my entire life is in Google Docs right now. So look forward to that. Hopefully by pride, fingers crossed, no promises. Uh, now, Eric, where can they find you? Uh, well, they can find me, mostly Eric, on most of the places on the internet, because uh, it's the name I go by. Uh, and they can find me tonight uh, at 7.30 Pacific Standard Time, about an hour and a half from now, on twitch.tv slash BNB Tabletop, which is for the Board and Barrels, our board game show, where we play board games and, like, Ooh. person and stuff. That's fun. And Shadari Aki, when can, where can they find you? Hi, everybody. I'm Aki. You can find me on Twitter at Mixgenie in a Bottle. That's M-X-G-I-N-I-I-N-A-B-O-T-T-L-E. I'm not doing a whole lot right now, but there's a lot of stuff that is in the works that I'm really looking forward to being able to announce when those things get a little bit closer to being 
a thing that are happening. Um, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sorry. I'm sorry. Cats. Cats being cats. Oh, Rip. Goodness. I'm sorry. Rip. Scared the crap out of me, too. <laughs> I'm going to tell your dad on you. Ooh. Anyway. Uh, uh, you can find my entire streaming schedule over my personal Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash Shidariaki. That's S-H-I-D-A-R-E -A -A, uh, sorry, A-K-I. Um, yeah. And uh, I look forward to coming back and playing playing this character again with all of you when uh, that happens. It's going to be fun. Uh, and Critical Bard, where can they find you? Uh, yeah, you can find me everywhere at Critical Bard. Critical Bard, 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 Critical Bard across all social media channels, including TikTok. Go follow my TikTok. I'm on a road to uh, 100K there. Um, almost at 70k. Did I hit? I hit 70k. Yeah. Uh, right. so almost, you know, 30 more, 30k more. Anywho, but um, you know, I'm having fun doing all the things. Um, on on Monday, you can catch me on Tumblr. Uh, Tumblr. 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 On Thursday, my last episode of The Weekly, which I am hosting uh, on Twitch Gaming. Uh, it's going to be a good time. And I have two very, 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 very special guests I'm going to be interviewing. Very excited about it. So definitely check out that episode. Uh, I won't reveal who yet until later. And uh, other than that, yeah, I just do a lot. Check out all the things that I do. I'm going to be virtually gone all of the week after next week, though, so don't ask where I am because I'll be um, in Cozumel. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to have a good time. Uh, that's me. I love the show. Can't wait to see what happens when we get back. <laughs> and last but certainly not least, Milk. Oh, I'm sorry. Mika. <laughs> Hi, sorry, I'm there's RFP a rat, Mika. and I'm very excited. He's cleaning my finger right now. So cute. I'm RIP Mika. <laughs> you can find me on any social media site at RIP Mika. Um, I stream every now and then. I do have an active YouTube channel at R.I.P. Mika. And on Mondays, you can find me over on Fear HQ's Twitch channel um, doing the Colock thing. We are on episode four, I believe, this week. And from what I've seen in my emails, it's going to be a doozy. Strap in and make sure you have some kind of like self-care because it's going to be a heavy episode. <laughs> what? Colock being heavy? Oh, hmm. well... Perish the thought. Last last episode wasn't too heavy for me, but yeah. <laughs> and isn't that yeah. what matters? And uh, I gotta go put this guy back in his cage because all right, all wild, <laughs> wild mount. Uh, thanks to Dom Zook for running everything behind the scenes. Couldn't do without you, man. And thank you all for tuning in. Uh, we really appreciate. It. We love doing this show. Uh, we will see you uh, right now. If we are scheduled to come back May 1st. So, you know, we'll be back. Don't worry. Plenty of time. Uh, go ahead and pick up a copy of Overarms while you're at it. See where I screw up the rules. Um, and hey, if you want more Saving Throw content, Tuesday, they're playing the Avatar RPG on Xbox. No. 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 Okay. Now we well, you should have taken out the teleprompter. Week. Yeah, oh, uh, next week, I believe the uh, the seventeenth is we are starting our session zero for we're doing the uh, a, an RPG from the RPG Exploration Society for uh, Dark Souls uh, based on the official Dark Souls RPG rulebook that uh, yeah. Yeah. it's so good and you yeah. will die. Yeah, Ooh. it's gonna be it's gonna be a lot a lot of great cast, great GM. It's gonna be fun. Don't give up, skeleton. All right. Uh, Thank you all for tuning in, and we will see you uh, with part two of this season. Till then, take care of yourself. Do self-care. Love your neighbor. Bye. Support trans kids. Happy, happy women. Support trans kids.